In this video, we're going to talk about the combine cutaway user defined window that can be found on the run one screen as default, but can be moved to any run screen as the user prefers. Um, the neat thing about the combine cutaway, as we call it on the display, is that it allows the operator to keep a pulse on what their com combine settings are. Um, monitor any changes that may be happening to their settings or uh, you know through automation or if they're running the machine in manual to keep an eye on where they have that that machine set so starting from kind of the top left hand side of the UDW you'll see we have an RPM readout so this will be your rotor RPM as a machine static obviously right now we are showing zero RPM you can click on this box and it will give you a recommended setting based on your crop type. Right now the machine is running as corn selected for the crop type, so the recommended RPM is 220 to 500 RPM. With this bar below, you can select your rotor speeds. You can adjust anywhere in the range um, by either clicking on the arrows or sliding the slide bar. Once you've selected your desired RPM, you can hit close. You can also still adjust your rotor speed on the right hand console, similar to 250 series and older machines. But now with the Pro 1200 display, you can also alter your settings on the display itself. So moving on, you see we have the cage vane positions starting from very slow, slow, medium, and fast. You can also click on the position readout and make changes to your speeds or position uh, with the slide bar or with the arrows. You'll notice if you're sitting in a machine and you make adjustments on some of these settings, you'll hear the actuators make them immediately. Others, the threshing system needs to be engaged. You have your concave position settings, pre sieve settings, upper sieve and lower sieve, Residue distribution system on this machine we have vertical spreaders so you have your RPM readout here and you also have your fan speed. It's also uh, note that you have a feeder RPM readout. This is purely a readout you cannot make any adjustments and you also have an engine RPM readout in the lower left hand corner. So this combine cutaway will provide the operator with a real look into the machine settings, um, whether they're running in manual mode, ACS, or automation. They can keep an eye on what the machine is doing or what they've set the machine to do um, instead of just uh, having to use the right hand console. They now can actively manipulate their settings on the display. And on the bottom of the screen, you'll see our funnels. So you have your rotor loss, cracked or broken grain, material other than grain, tailings, and sieve loss. If you're running in automation, you'll also show your sieve pressure sensor bar graph.